Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise this morning for your grace upon us. Thank you for the gift of salvation. We therefore ask, O oh God, that you speak to us in our sense loud and clear through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Today, Wednesday, 8 August 2018, our scriptural reading is taken from 1 Peter chapter 1, from verse 22 through ch verse 3 of chapter 2. 1 Peter 1, 22 to verse 3 of chapter 2. And it says, Since you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit in sincere love of the brethren, love one another fervently with a pure heart, having been born again, not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible through the word of God, which lives and abides forever. Because of flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man as the flower of the grass. The grass withers, and its flower falls away, but the word of the Lord endures forever. Now this is the word which by the gospel was preached to you. Therefore, laying aside all malice, all deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and all evil speaking, as newborn babes desire the pure milk of the world, that you may grow thereby, if indeed you have tested that the Lord is gracious. May the Lord bless his word in our heart, in Jesus' name, amen. Our topic this morning is Fixing Our Hope, Part 2. Fixing Our Hope, Part 2. We discussed Part 1 of this topic yesterday, and we said that hope is our response to the goodness and grace of God. So today, our focus is on our conduct towards our neighbors, how we should behave, what should be our lifestyle, what should be our attitude to others. One may ask, who is my neighbor? The story Jesus told in Luke chapter 10, verse 30 to 37, answers clearly the question of who my neighbor is. So one's neighbor is everyone created in the image of God, the tribe and nationality notwithstanding. In verse 22 of our reading today, we are commanded to love one another fervently. That is loving somebody passionately, earnestly, and intensely. We know that love is the greatest commandment. One day a lawyer accosted Jesus and asked him which is the greatest of the law. And Jesus said, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with your might and with your strength. And the second is like namely this, you must love your neighbor as you love yourself. And these two hang all the law and the prophets. So one of the things that shows that indeed we are born again is when we love one another. Someone may say, I am born again. And it is another thing to prove it. And how do we prove that? We prove that by our actions, by our lifestyle, how we relate to others. Our love for one another should flow from a pure heart. A heart that is pure is devoid of malice, devoid of deceit, hypocrisy, envy, and all evil speaking. All evil speaking. Every speaking that does not glorify God should be avoided. It is unfortunate that some who claim to be born again give room for the above mentioned vices. We also commanded in chapter 2, verse 2, to crave for the pure milk of the word of the Lord. To crave means to long for, to desire, and to run after God's word. Today, some people run after things that do not have eternal value. 
material things, wealth, fame, title, and all that. All these things do not have eternal value. They are transient. They are temporary. We know that the need for milk is a natural instinct for a baby. And it signifies the desire for nourishment that leads to growth. So as we desire the word of the Lord and feed on it daily, we will increase in God's knowledge and then grow unto maturity. Our hope in Christ should always compel us to live right with our neighbors and fellow believers. The Apostle John said, and I quote, But he who hates his brother is in darkness and walks in darkness. 1 John 2 verse 11. It is impossible to live right with God without living right with our neighbors. Have we not deviated when we enthrone unforgiveness and bitterness in our heart? Some people go to the extent of saying, over my dead body will I forgive. As a husband, do you forgive your wife? As a wife, do you forgive your husband? Do you make room for forgiveness? Do you forgive your children? In our Lord's Prayer every day, we say, forgive us, O God, as we forgive our others, as we forgive others. So, people of God, unforgiveness and bitterness rob us of God's blessings that should come to us. These two has done us more harm than good. Again, telling lies is seen as a small sin. Some even categorize it as white and black liars, people of God. Lie is lie, whether it is white or black. And we must, as a matter of fact, avoid it. Remember what the Bible says in Revelation chapter 21, verse 8, that all liars shall have their portion in the lake that burns with fire. We dupe each other in the name of business and display hypocritical tendencies. Jesus condemned the Pharisees severally for their hypocrisy. So if Jesus condemned them, we shall also be condemned if we do not repent. Today, envy and hatred made us feel that we are better than others. When we wish that every good thing should happen to us and not others, what is the difference between us and unbelievers? Obviously, God who called us and saved us by his grace may be saying, this is not my nature. Who must have bewitched us? And this is a clear indication that something has wrong, gone wrong somewhere and which needs urgent attention. People of God, it is time to match our conduct with our hope. Our conduct must be in agreement. Our attitude must be in tandem with what we profess. The life we live should be a testimony to others. When they see us, they should see Jesus. They should see the glory of God. No wonder Paul says in 2 Corinthians 3 verse 2 that we are living epistles. Some people may not have the time to read the scriptures, but when they, when they see us, they see Christ. They see the goodness of the Lord. Note that how we relate with others will determine whether we are holy or not. As we relate with people, our true identity, our true nature is made manifest. Our true nature is revealed. Now the big question is, what should we do? We must turn to God in repentance and in obedience to his word. For we cannot say we love God when we do not obey him. We must remember where we have fallen and ask for grace to live right with our neighbors. We must decide today. Tomorrow might be too late. We do not know what may happen tomorrow. Today while we have breath in us, today while we live, we must decide to show the world Jesus Christ who died for us. Our conduct should reflect it. For the whole creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. As recorded in Romans chapter 8, verse 20, we should always be conscious of the fact that heaven is real. 
Jesus is coming back again. He's coming to take us so that where he is, there we will be. Heaven is a prepared place for prepared people. It is an eternal abode of all believers. And the scripture says, And everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself, just as Jesus himself is pure. Are you purified? Have you purified yourself with the blood of the Lamb? We must, as a matter of urgency, give Jesus a chance so that our life reflects the goodness of Christ. When others see us, they will glorify God. Why not pray this prayer with me? O oh God of mercy, I confess that I have not done according to your word. I confess that I have deviated from the norm and the life I live is for self-interest and not for your own interest. Help me, Lord, from today to live right with my neighbors. Father, as your people go about today, may your grace go with them so that enough things will have all the cause to glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.